noon, a suspected serial killer is back in court. It comes after he was indicted in a 25-year-old cold case murder in Broward County. Local 10 News reporter Joseph Ojo was in the courtroom for the suspect's arraignment today. Joseph. And this is the first sighting of Lucius Boyd in years. He appeared in court earlier today uh, talking about that. Uh, he appeared in court earlier today talking about the pleading not guilty to those charges that are against him. And we did get a chance to speak with a sister of a victim who likely died at the hands of Boyd. And she just wants justice for her loved one. Convicted murderer, rapist, and suspected serial killer Lucius Boyd appearing in a Broward County court Tuesday. It's the first time we have seen a sight of him in over 20 years. He is accused of brutally raping and murdering Eileen Trumpener, who was a mother of two. Although a not guilty plea by Boyd's defense, detectives believe he is their suspect after new technology and DNA analysis linked him to the rape and murder which happened more than 25 years ago. In 1998, Trumpner was left for dead in a grassy area in southwest Broward County off of US 27. He hurts. And he hears like it was yesterday. Boyd was already on death row for the murder of 21-year-old Dewania DaCosta, who detectives said was killed just two weeks before Trumpner. Last month, Sheriff Gregory Tony said their homicide cold case unit will not stop looking into several other cases Boyd may be linked to. She was my sister who I loved and admired. Like the homicide investigation of Gina Marie Moore. The detectives tell me Lucius refuses to speak about any of the women who are missing. They say he will die with his secrets. Moore's sister was present in court Tuesday. I can't believe I saw Lucius Boyd. I can't believe it. He scared me. She tells us detectives told her that Boyd's DNA was found all over her sister's body, but it's not enough evidence. While seeing Boyd in court made her very emotional and vulnerable, she just wants a conviction and closure. That he speaks up, that he says where these women are, that he confesses to it. And so Amber Barry, that you did just hear from in that story, she says that her sister, Gina Marie Moore, was trafficking for Lauderdale back in 1998. And she believes that he was she was killed by Boyd, who was she was last seen with at the time. Now, detectives are still investigating that case and are looking into more cases that Boyd may be linked to. Once we learn any more information about that, we'll be sure to let you know. But his next court date is set for April 11th. We're here in Fort Lauderdale. I'm Joseph Ojo, Local 10 News.